Hi, this is AJ Crunch 94 and uh, today I'm doing a couple of shout outs. Let's see, I have a baby girl. You see, and see what I have at, I got found at the comic store today. Um, shout out to L1 Games, he's always nice and courteous. Uh, he knows what he's talking about for over, I don't know, more than 10 years of gaming. He's been gaming longer than I have. He's on his own store in Ohio, the name of the street particularly, because I don't live in Ohio, eh? and uh, shout out to Jimmy Classy, he's he's one cool dude, he has a great collection of video games, and uh, yeah, go, subs go subscribe to L1, just subscribe to everyone I mentioned in this um, video, uh, shout out to Unlim Unleaded Logic, ah, I always get that tongue twist. He he has a great collection of vintage um games. He has a good collection of stat of figures and he has a good collect he knows what he's talking about also. He um he has a awesome game room which I wish I had. I wish I had a, a Street Fighter arcade machine currently. I got the Street Fighter four arcade machine that I won at a tournament. Uh not Evo, uh something else. And shout out to Sonic Collectors. Uh, he has the coolest Sonic merchand merchandise I've ever seen, from shoe danglers to pins. I, it's it's hard to find good Sonic merch because they don't really make it a lot. Uh, shout out to Beat Door. He has an awesome collection of video games, also from very vintage titles to shit you can't even find anywhere else uh... Um, am I missing anyone? hold on and I uh... as I'm pulling this up I'm gonna tell you what I did in my five month hiatus ah, somebody likes me anyway I'm gonna tell you what I did in my five month hiatus I uh... I recently been picking up on my video on my gaming, but I haven't had a lot of time to do it. Oh, shout out to System Psycho. He he's awesome also. He's like very knowledgeable. He he also get he's a video game comic nerd, which is cool to me. You know, it's so hard to find cool people that's video game comic nerds as I. And yeah. Uh let's see who I have. Oh, shout out to The Armada, it's a Houston based band. And their music is the shit, that's all I have to say. Um, shout out to Omega2040. Um, Nintendo Central, I don't know if he still makes videos anymore. Elf Tones, subscribe to him. Um, yeah, KB Games, He's he also is very knowledgeable. On what he um, on what he purchases and stuff like that, and oh, definite shout out to Happy Console Gamer. He is one of the coolest YouTubers out right now. Um, but yeah, let's go to what I found at the comic store for a hell of a price. I swear, I thought I was gonna have to spend hundreds upon hundreds of dollars for this one issue. Um, Wolverine picture. Now I'm currently moving, so it's going to be a little tricky with the videos. That's what I was doing in that five month hiatus. Uh, I was moving, you know, and uh, I didn't really, f I didn't really figure out how can I put on videos in a higher quality than I am doing right now. So I'm currently saving up money for a better camera, so you won't have to squint your eyes or <laughs> crank up your um, speakers to listen to me talk for about ten minutes. But yeah, back to what I was doing. I recently found their Ultimate Spider-Man comics. These comics are extremely hard to find to me because there's not really a lot of comic book stores in Houston, as there is in, uh, let's say, a Dublin or England or a Seattle or uh, anywhere. Basically, there's not really, it's not really comic book 
culture over here. So I go to this place called Bear Rock City, who has a ton of comics, and these are the, just the comics I found today. Uh, Ultimate Spider-Man 33. Basically, I have the most of the Venom saga, except for 34. Except for 34, I have most of the Venom saga except for 34. Um, I found this over there. It's the 50th issue of of um, Ultimate Spider-Man. Pretty cool artwork. And bam. If you don't have cardboard in the back of your comic books, you're a fucking idiot. It keeps the comics fresh and they won't bend while you're putting them stacked away. And this is the baby I was looking so hard for. Bam. 100th issue of Ultimate Spider-Man. Let me turn off this light. Maybe you can see it better. It's the 100th hundred, issue of Ultimate Spider-Man, and um, it's Clone Saga Part 4. And the cover art itself is very awesome. Uh, I got hundreds of Spideys, and I read the comic on the way here when I was sitting on the, met on the Metro. And it's pretty good shit. They brought back, uh, they brought back Peter's father. And it's amazing twist. Um, I just got started um, collecting Spider-Man comics again, cause uh, most of my comics were burnt, including a vintage copy of Spider-Man One. Yeah, I wasn't too happy about that. My Spider-Man One copy got burnt, but luckily for me, I just put my Action Comics issue number one that I've inherited. I put that in like a fireproof safe, cause I was be I would be damned if I had that. But I'm gonna have to go on a huge, long, bad, disgusting voyage to look for Spider Amazing Spider-Man number one five hundred and fifty, I think thirty-five, and another copy of. Spider-Man, The Amazing Spider-Man number one, which, yeah, that sucks, but, yeah, it's a, so, it's a pretty good comic, it brings a plot twist, and most of the, um, most of the people I've talked to about the Ultimate Spider-Man series is that, why the hell is Gwen Stacy alive again, well, they kind of discuss it in Ultimate Spider-Man 100, but it's going to be hard to get your hands on the sucker, because I, I think they didn't make as many copies, because I think Bagley and Bendis was about to leave, and uh, I think 12 issues after it, they um, just left, and it was like, shit now, just like it is now. Now that Mark, now that um Brian, Brian Michael Bendis is back writing on the Ultimate Comics Spider-Man again, and not doing the shitty Avengers. Yeah, and his writing has gotten better, a lot better. Um, please, 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 please stay tuned to this channel because this channel should stay video games. I plan on using this channel a whole lot more than I do now. Um, I have other channels, but that's far and in between. And thank you for viewing. I know I haven't made a video in a while. And I just thank the subscribers. The seven or eight motherfuckers that subscribed to me. <laughs> to staying faithful and waiting for me. Thank you. This is AJ Crunch 94 signing out.